E-O-F is. E-O-F is. The reason why I stand here with my bachelor's degree in communications, my master's degree in counseling, and my doctoral degree in higher ed leadership. EOF is. EOF is. The reason I've been able to share my expertise and training across the nation, PSCNG and the McDonald's Corporation, all because of three letters. EOF is. The reason I was able to self publish an anthology of hip hop poetry entitled Words Travel, which is based on the biblical verse. Ephesians 4 and 29, which reads, please make sure the words that you share are to build and not destroy. And also my play Till Death Do Us Part ran off, off Broadway to sold out shows, all because of EOF. E-O-F is. The reason I've been able to start a network for 7,000 plus future doctors, primarily people of color, as well as publish retention strategies on so-called at-risk populations, all because of EOF. EOF is the reason why I started the EOF Advantage Scholarship for Newark natives and Patterson natives who essentially had the same experience as I had and ultimately give them the funding so they could achieve all of their personal and professional goals. E-O-F is. E-O-F is the reason why this young man is alive today. Part of Newark, New Jersey, lost my father when I was 14, and then the E-O-F director, Thelma Newman, came in and ultimately gave me an opportunity and access to higher education and I haven't looked back since. But for this very moment, let's look back on yesterday. Because when we talk about yesterday, all of our experiences ultimately have led us to this moment that we're sharing today on this very stage. And when I share these pages of my story, you may or may, may, or may not be able to relate. But if you can, you are not alone. My family moved over 12 times before I graduated from high school. We were actually homeless at one time and had to move in with family members. If you were raised around any level of instability, you were not alone. Random violence, Newark, New Jersey, my landlord was murdered while we slept quietly upstairs. Guns being drawn on us, having to duck bullets. Lost my father when I was 14. If you're suffering or been impacted by the loss of a loved one or loved ones, you are not alone. So-called teachers in the schools that I went to that didn't motivate me on any level, this one teacher actually said I'll be dead before I turn 25. If you've ever been in the presence of so-called educators, you are not alone. Drugs everywhere in my community. Drug dealers in my extended family, drug users in my extended family. If alcohol or other drugs have impacted you in your life in any form or fashion, you are not alone. Welfare, reduced lunch, EBT, family first. I was broke then. If you're broke now, you are not alone. Now, I, I, I may be uh, dating myself with this image. Do you guys have any idea who this is? No, I know a few of you might. Nobody wants to do the dance? No, no, no. I wonder how that's going to look on camera later. But Carlton Banks represents, for the purpose of this presentation, what it meant to be a black intellect growing up. I was marginalized, ostracized, called corny. If you've ever been marginalized because of your uniqueness, or had to dumb it down for the people around you, you are not alone. So when we talk about this thing called EOF, EOF is life. EOF is transformative. 
EOF is why I'm standing on this stage today, here to inspire the next generation of EOF scholars. So what is EOF? EOF was established in 1968 in response to the Newark rebellions. Essentially, legislation was passed to provide access and opportunity to a disenfranchised population, access to college education, so ultimately their next generation of family would not be EOF eligible. That is the legacy of EOF. 1968, Newark, New Jersey. So what is EOF today? EOF is transforming lives at over 50 institutions in the state of New Jersey, helping folks reach their personal, identify and reach their personal and professional dreams by providing access and opportunity through this EOF program. And then my counselors, past and present, have transformed thousands of lives here at Montclair State University, dedicated professionals who ultimately want the next generation to reach all of their personal and professional goals. Currently, there's a lot of misconceptions about AOF, so let me just share with you. It's a highly selective program. My scholars are absolutely awesome. We get close to 1,000 applicants every year, close to 1,000 applicants every year, and we enroll 135 scholars. So let that marinate for a second. We want highly motivated, low-income residents to take advantage of this program and ultimately live all of their personal and professional dreams. EOF is highly selective. Also, as it relates to graduating our scholars, we've been able to increase our four-year graduation rate by 61%. Why? Because we make certain that the scholars that we bring into our university are ultimately a great fit with amazing potential. And we've been able to exceed our expectations and will continue to make certain these folks graduate in four years and ultimately can move on to a very successful career. But EOF is so much more than that. EOF is Mariam. And as you can see on the screen, this is her student ID and this is her faculty ID, all because of the EOF advantage. EOF is Bushra Ali, who graduated from here with a 3.9999999 GPA. We're still looking for that professor that gave her that B. But ultimately, she's in dental school now. She's going to be a future dentist, all because of three letters. This gentleman right here, Raphael Gordon. Newark, New Jersey. Parents, drug addicts passed away, a uh, son murdered in front of him, a brother murdered in front of him. This is him at Carnegie Hall, delivering a powerful message to our AOF scholars and other folks who came out to hear him speak, all because of EOF. Two scholars here, Sierra, who's a University Board of Trustees member. She is part of the EOF family. We also have folks who do multiple media outlets, again, sharing our success and sharing our story. And then we have Haja, who will be graduating in less than four years, who just got accepted into NYU and will be studying at Saudi Arabia. She joined me during a testimony to advocate for EOF and got a standing ovation when she shared her testimony. I get chills even thinking about it, advocating for our program on the state level to make sure the next generation ultimately will have funding for this amazing program. EOF is Haja. EOF is Shannar Seabrooks from Barringer High School, who's achieved amazing things and will text me the other day and say, one day he will become a doctor. I believe him. EOF is Shannar Seabrooks. EOF is Ralph Olasio, who earned over $10,000 in scholarships, Jersey City native conducted research at Costa Rica, in Costa Rica, and also in Ethiopia with faculty members, graduated in January 2017. And EOF is Brittany. This is a picture of her when she started, and this is a picture of her when she graduated. She lost her mother, 
right before orientation, we connected her with an amazing counselor who ultimately helped her and supported her. When she graduated, she had an image of her mother on her cat, and she just stopped by my office a few weeks ago. Uh, she completed her master's and was just thanking me and the AOF program for everything that we've done for her. And then lastly, we have Dalvin, who lost his parents, Haitian American, lost his parents in 2000, or lost his parents when he was three. While other folks are distracting on social media, he actually found a Facebook internship and a Google internship. And that's him at the Facebook internship in California, and that's him in Texas at the Google internship, and that's him studying abroad in Australia. So when we talk about what EOF is, EOF is Dalvin. EOF is my 700 scholars on my campus. EOS is about 135 scholars of the class of 2022 who will be joining us next year. But lastly, EOF is in need of your help. EOF is in need of your help. The program has existed since 1968, and every year we have to essentially fight and advocate for this state-funded program. So in other words, EOF is not guaranteed to exist for the next 50 years, unless we all get involved. So what can we do? There are four ways that current scholars and alums can participate and support our program. Advocacy. You can write to your legislators. You can attend public hearings and share what EOF has done for you. Number two, donations. We have a book scholarship fund for our scholars. We have clothing drives where we collect professional clothing for our scholars. If you can give back in those ways, please do. Internships. If you're working at a corporation where folks can actually participate in paid or unpaid internships, please let us know. And then lastly, mentorship and networking for our scholars. If EOF has impacted your life, please give back in whatever way you feel you can give back. We roll out the red carpet for our scholars and our alum. We welcome you back on campus to give back in the ways you feel comfortable giving back. EOF is life, EOF is transformative, and EOF is a lifetime membership. Please come back to campus and join us. Thank you.